Right. Hey, all, all right, folks, life. listen up. Neil. Here's yeah. our plan. Okay. All right, now listen up. We have been, we're going to continue to measure our lettuce today. Okay, I'm going to bring in the lettuce from um, the greenhouse, just the soil. Now, I remember, I tell you, remember yesterday we looked at um, the other lettuce in the um, uh, 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 in the greenhouse itself. Okay, I did start my grow lights yesterday. Um, I think that helped a little bit, but still, I'm having some issues. I'm having to go into the the fish area and poke out some debris that's clogging um, the sprayers. Um, it's not a huge big deal, but uh, it's just a little frustrating. Um, be sensitive. I know who uh, who has 11 in here. 11. Does anybody have 11 in here? No 11s. Okay. 11 needed some uh, new lettuce. It had broken off. I don't know how it happened, but that was first period. Okay, so uh, we will do that. So everybody open up your Chromebooks, go to your lettuce data sheet. Okay, I'm going to start with this side of the room today. Okay, you're welcome to get the uh, ruler. Okay, just bring the rulers back up. Okay, Tony, you can go at any time for two sides. from home right now we are measuring our lettuce just a reminder everyone needs to write the data in slain both you guys don't forget to do like the points the decimals today thank you okay cool on instagram i love it man i'm super stoked about it Probably will be going to my dad's shop, but I'll start it up. Cool, dude. I want to see a startup. It doesn't yeah. sound good. That's all right, man. You'll get it sounding great. I need to get a muscle car, dog. About what? Red Bull. It should be. I gave you a new leaf, so you, you guys. Yep, yep. You should be good now on both things. Yep, you should be good on both things. Wow. Okay, now, let me get you another, uh, another one. Big tree. Anyone on the Zoom? Jade's lips can't touch that because she is about to have a boyfriend. So, <laughs> remember the no handshake thing, Connie? Right behind me. Oh, what? Wait, what was that? Run the ball behind. Oh, 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 Hey, Tony, we're going to have to wait. All my big ones are out. 
Your lettuce got smaller. Your lettuce got smaller. Yeah. 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 Bro, what was that? It's dying. Okay. Well, let's let's uh, uh, actually do one. What number is it? Sure. Where's the trash? There's no trash. Child, there's like, oh, 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 Someday, maybe someday. You chose that seat, man. Not today. Can I sit back there? Can Jack up there? Just let me do my thing. Maybe if maybe if you guys have good behavior and don't clap Get your data in here. 
I want, to tell, I want to show you some pictures today and kind of give you a little reminder of uh, what's uh, happening uh, in the next few days. So thanks for sticking with me. I, you know, uh, once again, this, I have no clue what's going to happen with our lettuce. Uh, I've been monitoring. I don't know if I have to uh, do a better job of monitoring like the, the fish waste. Uh, I, I think in the future, what I'm going to have to do, I thought I flushed it all out. Uh, maybe I need to take a little air compressor and kind of shoot uh, uh, through those pipes, uh, but they continue to accumulate some debris. So I've been taking a toothpick in the morning, kind of poke it through there. I'm going to do that today and make sure that we get enough water spray going up there uh, because we're getting different kind of results and maybe it's the kind of lettuce. I need to do a better job of, of kind of recording what kind of lettuce we're doing, what kind of results that we're getting. Again, I have no idea, but we will compile all of our data. So it's not just like one person's data saying that, because we're gonna end up being, I think split. Some of you fish poop is gonna grow more. Some of you, uh, uh, the soil is going to uh, grow more. The soil, to me, looks a little healthier. It looks greener. <laughs> it looks fuller. Okay, but um, I don't know. But is it growing at the same rate? There's a lot of different factors there, and uh, I'm kind of excited to see uh, what happens. Okay, so we've been talking about population. And I want to end talking about invasive species. We're going to have, once again, a short quiz. So if you guys are watching this from home, we're going to have a quiz uh, that's going to be worth around 35 points. It's going to be about uh, 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 10 questions that Greta and I both wrote together. Well, that's worth 20 points. And then an additional 15 questions worth one point each. Okay, And it's going to cover everything that we talked about this semester. Okay, but those first 10 questions are really, really important to me. Okay, so I want to I want to talk about um, this place and the Everglades. My goal is that when you are a senior, that you'll take AP Environmental Science and uh, hopefully there's no pandemic and we can get down to South Florida. This is a talk that I gave to the Indiana Academy of Science a few years ago about um, a research project that we started in the park. And uh, the reason why I'm telling you about this is this is all about invasive species. So you will do this project. Uh, once we're down there, we've collected about six years of data. This uh, place is in the middle of the Everglades. It's called the Hole in the Donut. All of this used to be farmland. And uh, the park bought it. And unfortunately, there was a problem with that land area. Now, when I say this is Everglades, most people look at this. They're like, that's not what the Everglades looks like in my head. I'm thinking of like, you know, a scene out of the TV show Swamp Thing or, you know, Swamp People, you know, guys driving airboats, you know, in the middle of a, of a dark, you know, like forest, that kind of thing with water. Okay, but actually there's parts of the Everglades that, that look more, more like uh, Africa than they do what you think they might look like uh, from a TV show. Okay, so uh, this is our research site one of them, and, uh, and it's located right here. So this picture that you see is right here. We fly in from Fort Lauderdale to, uh, from Indianapolis. We rent vans. This is where we camp. This is the entrance of the park. We're on the west side of the state. So Miami's right up here, okay, uh, at Fort Lauderdale, and then Miami just north of that. Okay, and we're looking at a couple different plants, but this plant, is called Brazilian pepper, Shinus terebinthifolius. And it's a, it's a really pretty plant. It's actually a relative of uh, poison ivy. Uh, it's a plant that um, people used for landscaping. So uh, they brought it in. Where do you think they brought this from? Africa. Brazil, good job. Yep, Brazilian pepper. Yeah. Okay, and, um, and at first people were like, oh, this is a really cool plant. The, Birds do like the berries. In fact, uh, the, I asked a, a ranger there once, I was like, man, you know, what, what does the berries, do the berries have an effect on the birds? He said, yeah, that kind of makes them intoxicated. And one time I swear, I saw this cat bird in the middle of the road, meow, meow, 
and it was like wobbling, you know, uh, if it got pulled over by the cops, it would not be able to say the alphabet backwards. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, very tipsy and uh, uh, but cool. So this, this uh, plant took over. Now I want you to see this, this looks like bare ground and it is bare ground. This is all Brazilian pepper. If I was standing here, I would be about this, this tall. Okay, so we're talking a good 10 to 12 feet high. You can't walk through it. Birds won't nest in it. Animals don't eat it. Okay, it. It, it is a jungle mess. It's all these like, I've tried to do it, man. It is a mess in there. You okay? tried? I've tried, man. It's crazy. It, it is, it's just a nasty mess. So this area, okay, when I go back to this picture, okay, this was all farmland when the park bought it. The soil was good. This plant was like an open, you know, this is like an open wound. And this plant just came in and took over. They realized, wow, we, we got to get rid of this. How in the world do we get rid of this? That began the hole in the donut restoration project. They learned, and, and I worked with these guys starting in 1999. They thought at first they could burn the uh, invasive species. They thought that they could flood it out. They thought that they could just cut it down. They thought that they could uh, 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 spray it, you know, with, with herbicide and that would take care of it. No, it always came back and it was crazy. Here's what they had to do. They had to take a bush hog, bush hog all of it. And then they had to get these giant brushes and brush up all the soil. So you have nothing but bare bedrock. They had to take away everything and start completely over. Okay, and that was an amazing feat. In fact, it cost $1 million an acre to do this, okay? And we have thousands of acres in the whole Dodo. Now, fortunately, that's not taxpayer money. I'll tell you later how they funded that. Here's all the different sites. We're working right here in this area. Specifically, we started working here in the rest of the restored area in, in 2010. Uh, but I'm really interested in this line between 11 and 13. So I'm going to shut the lights off just so you can see this uh, because it's a little hard to see in this photo. Okay, but can you see almost this weird imaginary line that kind of goes back like this? Oh, can you see how these plants are taller than these plants? Yeah. So this area was restored in 2011. This area was restored in 2013. So this has two more years of growth than this. Okay, but all of it looked like this at one time. Okay, complete bare ground. They did not plant anything at all. Okay, so, so also I want you to look at this. Here's a tree line. Can you see, see the tree line right there? Uh -huh. Okay, but can you see this subtle difference right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that is a mound and all the soil and all of the Brazilian pepper that they cut down went into those mounds, okay? That's they thought different. they would give away the soil. They're like, wait, we can't do that because it's got Brazilian pepper in it. They thought they would ship it out and put it in a landfill. Nope, couldn't do that because the trucks were so heavy, it started to break down the roads as they were shipping it out. So they're like, screw this, let's just, let's manage these mounds. And interestingly enough, one year I was there, you guys are all probably familiar with this. I literally just before class um, got this picture from my friend Mark. And this was a, a, a memory that he had. Let's see if I can blow this up a little bit. Okay, you guys know what this guy is that's right a here? Snake. That is not only a, a snake, okay, but that snake has eaten a deer. Do you see the hooves of the deer here? Yeah. Okay, there are deer. So this python. Uh, most likely died as it was eating this deer. This deer was inside the python and uh, either it died or they shot the, the python and then cut it open and found this deer. This is from my friend Mark who manages pythons uh, uh, down there. He's the wildlife guy. He's, he's a like, super cool dude. Love One of the coolest. Uh, anyway, so what, what one year, oh gosh, uh, one year uh, I was down there. They took a female python, they put it on top of this mound in a cage and they wanted to see how many males would try to mate with it. So they, they put it in this cage and snakes produce this pheromone. So it attracts the dudes, you know, it's kind of like ladies and perfume, right? And all of a sudden all these guys and they started counting all the snakes that would come up on that mound. Pretty cool stuff. All right, but what I'm really interested in is cattails. How many of you have seen cattails before? You guys all know cattails? Cattails are wetlands in Indiana. You see them all over. 
Okay, there's three different kinds of cattails that we would see. Uh, well, two main ones in, uh, in South Florida. One is called Typha domagensis. Typha is the genus. Domagensis is the species that's the southern cattail. Look at this picture. Now compare that with this picture called Typha and Gustafolia. They look pretty similar. This looks a little bit fatter, okay? Maybe a little bit browner, but it's really hard to tell the difference between these two species. Now I skipped over this map. The reason I put this map in here is because this is a map of the Indiana Dunes uh, National Park. The green stuff is the national park. The orange is the state park. If you're on co cross country team and you go to cross country camp, you will camp at the state park, not the national park. The national park is much, much bigger and it's harder to see where it is because it's not like you just go in a gate and there's the national park. Okay, it goes all the way from Michigan City to Gary. And I met a woman when I worked at the park. Her name was Joy Marburger. She was fascinated with cattails. I thought cattails were super dumb. And she got me really into how cool cattails can be. Now, let me explain why. Okay, so this is Typha angustifolia. We have this here in Indiana. We also have Typha latifolia. And that is a, uh, a native. Okay, so this is a non-native. This is the native. Okay, and so Typha latifolia and Typha angustifolia, they could be kind of okay. Like this one likes to play nice. This one likes to get like a little bit invasive, but not too crazy. But when these two breed, this one and this one, they make something incredibly nasty. And that is called Typha glauca X. And I'll show you how to tell the difference between those in just a minute. So my thought is, if I go to the Everglades and, and this is complete bare ground, Okay, this is like succession, right? Okay, rocks, lots of lichens, grass, small trees to show, big tree. Yeah, right, climates. Okay, this is this is bare ground. Okay, this is a fresh start. I wonder if any invasive species, if it's an invasive cattail, will come there, or if we're, we're going to have the nice one, the type of domagensis, the southern cattail. Okay, so here's what we do. So we go down, and this is my, these are my students. This is Ross, and that kid's name is Whitco. Yeah, I actually came from Whitco, but I can't remember his name. What was Whitco's name? Oh, Greta's name. Greta was actually. What was Whit? What was Whitco's name? Seth? Was it Seth? Yeah. Seth. Seth. Okay. So they're measuring all these things on the plant. But let me explain what it is. Here's the male. Here's the female. This is the gap in between the male and the female. This is where the pollen's located. Okay. This is the cigar-looking thing. That's the female inflorescence. We also what looked at, we at the plant. What's that? <laughs> it would. I've never smoked one, right? So I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you really. You can actually eat cattail, but you eat the root at the bottom. Uh, yeah, it kind of tastes like potato. Like a potato. Okay. We look at uh, also the plant height, how much water, the stem, uh, and, and the leaf depth. Okay. So here's the deal. My friend Joy Marburger said, "Jay, you can look at the only way to really truly tell the species because when you're looking at all these things, they all kind of look alike." Okay, maybe, you know, like this one looks fatter, but maybe this could be a little bit fatter. We don't know, okay? The type of latifolia and the type of domagensis really look a lot alike. So the, the, the latifolia are native and the southern cattail, I mean, they're almost indistinguishable, okay? So she said, okay, really the only way to know the difference is to do this. You could buy a $200 uh, fancy dye or you could buy 98 cents isopropyl alcohol and get a permanent blue marker, put it in the alcohol, and that makes the dye. So we did it, and this is what we got. Okay, so every year we're down there, we collect pollen, we bring it back here. I have no idea what kind of species it's going to be until we arrive back here into our lab. It's like a mystery every single year, and I get stoked every single year to see what species we have. Okay, so uh, my friend said, look, here's the deal, Javen. There's lots of different pollen types. Okay, you could have a monad, okay, which is this one, just one little single pollen granule. A dyad, those are two together, they're actually locked together. Okay, a triad, okay, or a tetrad, or a combination of some of those, okay? So this is good, okay? This isn't too bad, okay, right? So, so these are pretty good, A and D, good. This is the bad one, okay? So when A gets together with D, okay, and mates, they make this new species that creates a monoculture and chokes out all these other species. It's incredibly bad. It's incredibly like hard to get rid of. 
So every year I'm crossing my fingers. I'm like, please, 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 please. I don't want to see B. Okay. And so far this year we haven't. So this is Typha and Gustafoli and also uh, Domagensis. So the northern and southern cattail. This is the Latifolia. And then this is the combination, Typha Glocka X. Okay. So here's another picture of what we've been getting. So you're like, well, wait a second. Isn't that like a tetrad? No, those are all just kind of grouped together. We want these single monads all together like that. And that's what we've been finding. Okay. Still not found this one yet. Hoping to find this uh, uh, someday, but never uh, a combination of both those things. Okay. Native species, non-native species, okay, that become invasive. By the way, not all non-native are invasive. Silver maples here, not really totally invasive. Okay, but this guy right here, the Oriental Bittersweet, a nasty one that you find at the Indiana Dunes National Park. Okay, we have a an American one that just plays nice. It's Kator, completely covers trees. I don't know if you've ever been to like North Carolina or driven to North Carolina and you've seen the hills of Kudzu. Okay, I mean, they will take over like cars, houses. It's just this vine that's like crazy. That's very similar to what this little uh, uh, critter will do. All right. Oh yeah, it's that crazy. Kudzu is crazy, and we kudzu. Uh, we're too cold for kudzu. Okay, but that's another one of those things that I'm concerned about in the future. You, you will kudzu come here to Indiana? There's a very good chance that it will. Okay, now I'm going to give everybody credit for doing this, but I need you to open up your Chromebooks. Okay, and this includes you folks at home. Okay, so if you're watching this from home, I need you to go to Google Classroom. I will give you participation credit for this okay now i was like i hesitated doing this because i was like this is so cheesy okay but i liked it so we're gonna do it and technically this is like no joke i'm not making this up it's like for like kids okay uh but uh we're gonna play this game it won't take long but i loved the reactions from people this morning when we were doing this so you two birthday boy Everybody open up Google Classroom, and I want you to go to this game, okay? And we are going, don't start it yet, though. Don't start it yet, okay? Uh-oh, some people got excited. Okay, that's okay. We, I want to hear your reactions, but number one, I want you to notice what's happening, okay? So this game basically is just saying, here's the, here's the cheesiness, right? Sometimes plants or animals that don't belong are brought in from other places on purpose or by accident. Okay. Like this rabbit here in Australia. This rabbit is called an invasive species because it has invaded Australia and does not belong there. Now that the rabbit is living in Australia, it is eating the grass that usually feeds mice and kangaroos. This means that there is no grass for the mice and kangaroos. Can you help get all the invasive species before they take over? Okay, now let me show you First how to do stop, this. The Australian desert. And here are some of the plants and animals that live here. Get okay. all the invasive species. So these species are the native before species. Before they take over. Okay, so then you just click play and you notice, okay, there's that rabbit. Okay, let's turn our sound, I'll turn our sound off. It says you got rid of these invaders. Good job, right? Okay, so you're like, this is so dumb. Just keep playing it. Okay, and I want to see your reactions. Okay. All right, so everybody start like this, okay? And then I will give you credit. By the way, I won't tell you the high score, but I would love for someone to beat Riley Shock's high score this morning, okay, uh, that, he get, and, that he got. And by the way, you might not receive any score, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes as well, okay? Again, I'm giving everyone participation credit for doing this right now. Okay, you're right about this again. Yeah, but it's blue. Yeah, yeah. It's probably not gonna be nothing. It's probably gonna be nothing. Yeah, man. I don't know why I like it. Oh yeah, it's it's actually kind of fun. Is that thing the bucket? Yeah. Okay. There's one happened over here. Well, I'll talk about yours in just a second. Okay, but you want to try to get a score. If you don't get a score, you'll see what happens. Because Kimberly, that happened to me when I was playing it for the first time last night. 
Where's the other one, bro? Well, I don't need them. Oh, well, yeah. they could be on, but they're not going away. They could have two things. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, no. what? There's so many I can't do anything. I know, right? Oh, the rabbit. What? Go away, bro. Why? 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 Oh, that's Wait, it. Look at you, buddy. Oh, Thank you. Someone earlier this morning said, I wish these animals would stop doing what they were born to do, and that is make babies. So once again, you folks at home, I need you to screenshot the end of this and send it to me for the credit. Yes. I know, man. I don't, I don't like it. We'll talk about it. I don't like it. You don't like it. No, I don't. Don't come back. Keep going. Okay, you don't get it. Keep going. And I got the talk first one it. done. Look at this. Okay. Yeah, I want to see some scores. I forgot a score. What's it? What's that? Go to this one right here. Ah, ah, okay. Has anybody got a score yet? Stop multiplying. Yeah. You could try again and see if you got a score. I'm telling you, somebody's got to get Riley. He got, I mean, it was. Wait, how do you get a score? Keep going. You got to you gotta get rid of them all. You got to get, you got to go fast. They said the touch screen worked pretty well. It does. It does. Yeah. 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 Okay, so keep going. So, everything but those? Yep, yeah, everything but those. So click play. Go to your native. Right? So you got to get rid of these guys, right? There you go. Good job. See, you got it. Good job. Got him. This continuously. Oh, my God. Oh, no. keep going. Keep oh, going. Oh, going. Oh, no. Nobody's got a story. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. There we go. Keep barking. Have you got in there yet? Okay. Well, I'd like for you to get a score, man. I mean, you can take a zero if you want. How many points is that? Ten. Ten? Yeah. With the head. Oh, you stupid grass. You choose. I can grab it. Get out of here. I forgot what we did make this look like. Oh, that's oh, there we go. That's a lot of big orange no, sheep. Oh, my. Get out here. Oh, Jeez. Jeez. Why are moose in Belize? Why are moose in Belize? Hey, this is racist. Oh, my God. Help. 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 Holy cow. Help. Stop. Just leave. Just leave. Oh, Just leave. Oh, there's too many of them. Hey, dude, go too far. Elon, you. No one likes you barking beer. No one likes you. No one likes you barking beer. Why are there monkeys in Canada? Why are there monkeys in Canada? Why is there a gimmick in Canada? How do you get a good job? Why do you get it? I got a score. You got to keep going. You got a score? Well, okay, good. Okay, what was your score? Let's see. Why is it out of freaking? Oh, nice, but not the top score. We got a 1291. That is not the top. I just pressed something and reset it. Oh, very close to the top. You were you were very close. I got 1351. What how much? 1351. You are officially the winner at this point. Jack, yeah. so <laughs> Jack, 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 Jack got, start. Or, uh, sorry, uh, Riley got 1330. Uh, I believe 1330 was the top. You just spammed like that all of a sudden. Oh, what'd you get? 13, 1134. Uh, I have a problem. Oh, my. Okay. When I when I started when I started playing, I, you know, I was looking for something. I was like, man, I wonder if there's like an online solution, okay, for invasive species. And I found this. And yes, it literally is made for fourth graders. Okay. And I thought, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this. But I played it, okay, because I was curious. And then I had some similar reactions that you do. You saw how those invasive species start to take over to the point where, you know, I'm hearing your reactions. You're like. 
stop breeding. And all of a sudden those rabbits are going crazy. Okay. And if you notice as the rabbits start going crazy, then the other species decrease because there's not enough food, right? It's all about that food and that availability. Okay. If, if we have decreasing the comparing carrying capacity, that food that's there, then the species that is native cannot survive, right? Okay. Yeah, what'd you get? I got 15 Oh, it's native is now a champion. Nice. Okay. So it's all about looking at the amount of species that, that are present in this in these ecosystems. And there's a basis of species everywhere, right? Never and anybody else. The emerald ash borer is not an invasive species in Asia. The Brazilian pepper is not an invasive species in Brazil. Now, somebody asked me a question, have we, is there an introduced species from, from the United States that's gone somewhere else? Okay, I actually have never been asked that question before, so I don't know, I'll do some research. That really made me curious. When we think about all these things like Oriental bittersweet, Asia, right? Think about if you've ever swam in any lake in Indiana, you've unfortunately gotten the zebra muscle. Okay, maybe it's cut your foot. Maybe you've seen it before. It's Never a tiny before. little guy. Okay, and it is. I heard the 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 uh, the Oh man, it's everywhere. Like you can't, like, you, we, we haven't been able to control it. It actually filters the water. So it, you would think that it makes the water uh, like cleaner. And in some ways it does, but it has created havoc in the Great Lakes, changing the water quality of, um, of Lake Michigan uh, in particular. There's a great book, by the way, if you're ever into this uh, sort of stuff, like invasive species or the Great Lakes, this is one of my favorite books right here. It's called The Debt. The Death and Life of the Great Lakes. It is a uh, fantastic book. Um, and uh, uh, so here it is. I'll read the back. It says, the Great Lakes, Erie, Huron, Michigan, Ontario, and Superior hold about 20% of the world's uh, supply of surface water and provides sustenance work and recreation for tens of millions of Americans. But they're under threat as never before. And the problems are spreading across the continent. Uh, this uh, is happening right before our eyes and uh, lots of good reviews. So uh, finalists for the Pulitzer Prize, which was pretty cool. So uh, if you're ever interested, feel free to borrow any of my books, okay? Yes, what would you get? 1396. What, 1396, yeah, I think that is the Kimberly. 1396, I'm gonna put that up there if anybody- 1397. 1397, are you serious? No, oh. If anybody, if anybody beats it, okay? Uh, if anybody beats it, Okay, they can uh, uh, be the official winner, but good job. I'm very proud of you. Okay, any questions about this? I'm going to give everybody credit now uh, for doing that, except for the folks who aren't here. So they'll be like, well, what am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to be doing? Okay, so you guys at home, I'm going to shut this off now, but please, please, please get on Google Classroom, send me a screenshot of your score. Bye bye. Mm. Well, what if we're not done?